Marvin, how hard is that to take? It's extremely tough. You know, I'm gutted for, for, for the players first and foremost because they're the ones out there, you know, putting in that sort of shift and, and getting no reward for it. Um, it's a real, real hard one to take in terms of that. Um, I'm proud of their effort, their endeavour, um, how well they defended, you know, how well we attacked. And it's just that last bit, just that last bit, you know, I said to them there, if you'd have came away from here, you know, scoring two or three goals, there'd have been no complaints. Um, but again, it, it, it's just... You know, we've been fantastic in front of goal all season and probably just let us down a little bit today. Um, and then obviously, you know, they go and score a really late goal at the other end. You talked about the effort. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the 90, well, 90 plus minutes yeah. today, they were really, really up for it. They were, they were. They were massively up for it. And I think they set that standard last week as well against Partick. And I said, one thing that we can't come away from is the effort you put in, in that game. There's no good having that up and down, you know, doing it against Partick and coming back to the league and not doing it. And you know, that needs to be how we do it going forward. And I said, you know, when you do put in that amount of effort and you get your awards for it, there's no better feeling. Um, you know, people talk about consistency in football all the time. One thing we can be consistent with is is our performance, is how hard we work, is the effort we put in. Because, you know, today's one of those games that you don't deserve to lose it, but you have to control the controllables and control what we put in and the determination we go into games with. And as I said to them in there, you know, as I said already in this interview, you perform like that, you put that effort in week in, week out, you win more games than you lose, and you'll get to where you want to get to. And it's so sore because it's so late in the game, isn't mm -hmm. it? There's no time to react, is there really? You know, obviously we've used two stoppages in the first half. We use a stoppage to freshen things up in the second half and then we can see ever so late. And all you can t try and do is kind of reshuffle the pack, the boys that are out there. Um, and, and we try to do that and we just couldn't create that, you know, that next chance to potentially put in the back of the net. Um, you know, but yeah, it's, it's really tough for them, Sandra is. They're at home, so you expect them to have the bulk of the ball. Mm -hmm. But we probably had the better chances today. We did have the better chances, and they had the bulk of the ball in a defensive third, where you know they weren't really hurting us. It wasn't like you know Harry at the other end had to pull off save after save. Um, you know they went into wide areas, they crossed the ball. We knew what they were going to do, and, and, and we defended that extremely well. Um, in terms of the chances, you know, one hundred percent we had the better chances, but we've lost the game one 0 so it doesn't really matter, does it? I think if you look at the five best chances from the game. I think you know the first four of ours, and then you know they end up scoring that, that great strike, you know, from 20 yards or whatever it is. So, you know, it, it's one of those things. It, it's hard. Um, the boys are in brilliant in front of goal so far this season. Um, you know, we need to get back to that. And if we can just you know marry the two things up, you know, that performance, you know, with being more ruthless in the final third, and when we are in front of goal, again, we'll be just fine. But at this moment in time, it hurts and it should hurt. And I want people to be hurting because it will ruin my week, you know, before next week's game, no doubt about it. And I said to the players, I want you to be hurting from this as well. You talked there about having to make two changes in the first half through Wilson Craig and um, Regan. Mm -hmm. How are they? Yeah, um, you know, they'll be assessed over the next couple of days. You know, obviously it takes a lot for those two boys to come off. You know, obviously Craig coming back to where he played last season and, and Regan, who's been, been really, really good all season since coming to the football club. So, yeah, it, you know, we'll assess them over the next couple of days, probably no more early next week. But, you know, as you said, there's two bodies down and having to make two subs before half time is never, never ideal. Craig obviously leaving on a stretcher, mm -hmm. leaving on crutches now as well. So do, do we know, have an idea of what that injury is? He's in a protective boot. It's his ankle. Um, so he, he goes up, he says as he lands, you know, he, he hears something crack. Um, so at this moment in time, he's just got in a protective boot. Um, as, again, there's swelling there. So that will need to go down before he can be properly assessed. And then, you know, as I said, we'll know more next week as to how he is. You, t you know, losing two players and making two changes so early in the game, mm -hmm. it makes it difficult later on as well, doesn't it? It does, it does, because you've only got one stoppage. But the rules are the same for everyone. And yes, it's unlucky to, you know, that to happen, but we have to react to it. You know, that's just, that's just part and parcel of the game. Does it make it more difficult? Yeah, it does make it more difficult. But then, you know, I say to the subs, make sure you're ready to go on because you're going at any point now. Um, so, listen, it's just bad luck at the end of the day. You know, we can't use that as an excuse because we knew the rules going into the game. It's not like we made the two subs in the first half and all of a sudden they said, oh, you only got one more left. We knew that. We knew the situation with that. And, yeah, listen, it's just it's just one of those days, Sandra, in terms of, as I said, you know, it feels like a few things go against you and then you end up losing the game of football. It's hard. It's quite hard as well with injuries right now. There was obviously those two and Lewis been training during the week yeah and then obviously jack still missing daniel still missing how close yeah. are they to coming Carl back Doherty as well yeah. um you know they're they're back out and running um we're building them up and obviously gav's in charge of them before they get handed over to kind of alex before their return to training so for me it's, it's one of those things i don't like going to the physio and constantly asking how players are because it doesn't doesn't speed it up i think we're looking at you know 
them getting back into training ASAP, obviously. Um, but I can't put a, a definite date on any of them. But they are all progressing well. Um, they're getting closer by the day. It's just, you know, I'm not sure when they're going to be back out and, and able to really help impact things on the pitch. But the injury list is growing. But again, it's not an excuse. That's why we have a squad. You know, people wait for opportunities to come. However they come, they have to be ready to take them. You want to digest on this one as well before mm-hmm. you kind of move on to Hamilton next week. But Hamilton at home, mm-hmm. home form's not been that great so far this season. No, it hasn't. But as you said, you know, I need to deal with, with this one first and foremost. The home form hasn't been great. Um, you know, the, the games we've lost there, we've cost ourselves as well, which is the most disappointing thing. You know, if you perform like this today and you lose a game at home or, or, or away, you know, it's a little bit more acceptable, although nobody wants to, to lose games. But listen, that, that's the next game that comes up and we need to make sure we get a positive result out of it and a positive performance. But yeah, first and foremost, I need to take care of, of, of what happened today and you know, see where we can be better um, and obviously watch the goal back because you know, I've got something in my mind of what played out, but you know, I need to see it again. Aki's t- another team up there. Mm-hmm. We all know how tough every team in this league is, but a team up there that you really want to be chasing? Yeah, we need to be chasing them because they're towards the top of the league. You know, you're not chasing the teams that are behind you. So yeah, they're the team that that are kind of at the top of it, and, and we do need to chase them. Um, and for that to happen, to get positive results, we understand that, we know that. Um, you know, and, and that has to start with our next game. But as I said, you know, first of all, to take care of this game, look back at that, and then you know, we head into the next game and, and try and go on another run.